Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It is me, Timothy, and today I'm going to be making butter bean soup. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this. I hope all of you will enjoy this. Uh, kick back and enjoy. <laughs> Uh, first off, I'm going to cut up some carrots. I can put them in here in the pot. And I'm going to start getting back into doing cooking videos for you guys. Kind of been slacking off on doing it. First, Let the heat, just turn the heat on for the frying pan. And I'll come back when it's all warmed up. Alright everybody, this is all heated up. So now what I'm going to do is put some onions in here. Some celery. And my carrots. I've got to grab the spoon. Oh, 
So what I'm going to do is saute these. I'll show you what to do next. Okay, everybody, they have sauteed. So now, what I'm going to be adding here is one fourth cup of flour. Okay, next, up we will be adding chicken broth. Okay, next up, we'll be adding my butter beans. Gonna drain them. And next, gotta get the can opener. <clears throat> and 
Rotel, tomatoes, in it. And next up, two tablespoons of brown sugar So the little lunch from Arby's. Ah. And I will come back and show you what to do next. Okay, people. Next. Here. Gonna be adding a tablespoon. So basil And now kosher salt. And I will show you what to do next. Okay, everybody. My soup is done. So I will let you know how it tastes. Hey, everybody. How you doing? It's me, Timothy, and... My butter bean soup is done. So I'm going to let you guys know how this butter bean soup is. And I hope a lot of you will give it a try and do it. Yourself. It's good.
I like it. Real good. Gonna tasty. So what's your favorite soup that you enjoy making? This is my first time making this. I really enjoy it. Hey, can I uh, talk to all of you for a bit while I was sitting here thinking? Um, let me explain something to people out here. I just want you all to understand something. Never ever be gentlemental about somebody until you know the facts about them. The true story about them. Never ever go to their channel and cuss them out and this and that. Respect them. Because, you know, some people up here on YouTube or on the internet, you know, they're, they're, they're mean people. There are a lot of mean people out there. You know, until they know the story on things about a person, they should not be gentlemental and stuff like, and start cussing out about things and that and, start blaming you that you got this and and until they know the history they need to keep their mouth shut And to <clears throat> some of them, YouTube is a job. And it is. YouTube is a job. And a lot of us have worked in our lifetime. I've had jobs. I worked as a janitor once. I say I worked as a dishwasher. I delivered the Detroit News just once.
I did tear down for carnival. And I rang the bells for the Salvation Army. I did a lot of things. But until you know why that person can't work, you shouldn't be jumping on them. Until you understand what, why they can't work and this and that. And you shouldn't be going out there judging them about <clears throat> saying, oh, well, they... You're this because you eat. No, I don't sit and eat all day long. Look, I, I hardly ever, ever have breakfast. I hardly ever have lunch. The only meal I have sometimes is dinner. Yeah, dinner. But, and, and then after that, I try to have like a snack in the evening. But I don't sit all day and just feed my face. Because uh, I had this person come by last night. Her name was Ann May. She just made up an account I'd seen. I don't know, but it was a troll that has a, a thing against me and stuff comes back and Says I'm obese. How does she know? She doesn't know me. Is she a doctor? No, she's not. I have lost weight. Last time I was in the doctor's office, I lost weight. 12 pounds. So I'm not obese. I'm just built. And yeah, I'd probably take off, take from my dad's side because my, my dad was on the heavy set and some of his brothers were on the heavy set. But, like I say, if I was obese, my doctor be concerned about it. He'd be having me go to a specialist, people. A specialist. And I know my doctor. So never ever go and judge somebody until you know if they have a problem like that or not. Number two, never ever judge them about why they can't work. Maybe they had a health problem that caused them that they can't work. A lot of people do. You know, there's some that have had a stroke. Or some that have been in a car accident. They can't work. <clears throat> and you know, I I was tested. I went through a place called Goodwill Industries. 
and I was tested. And my work performance is slower than an average, a regular person's work performance is. I'm I'm very slow. You you can even ask an old boss of mine. They own a restaurant, a Chinese restaurant. And at that time this Chinese restaurant did not have a dishwasher. The only way to do dishes was by hand. And <laughs> Yeah, I got slammed, people. <laughs> I didn't get out until late, late in the morning time. But I was tested for my workability. So now I do is YouTube videos for a living. You know, there's other YouTubers that have had jobs like Adam the Woo. I don't know if any of you ever heard of Adam the Woo. Well, he he used to work. He used to be in a band. But what does he do now? He gets out there and travels and does YouTube videos. He's a creator. Number two, there's a guy named the Carpet Bagger. He used to be, he used to work for Family and Children's Services. But he left that to become a YouTuber. And he does YouTube videos going from place to place and filming them. He goes to small amusement parks or attractions. Then you know there's a kid behind the camera you know he him and uh, Bridget, they don't work. What they do is YouTube videos. Plus, you know, they s sell merch on the side. They have a company that sells merch for them. But see, YouTube is a job, people. And you get paid for it. And then that person, Ann, said, well, nobody likes you anyways. Yes, they do. They like me, Ann. How do you know people don't like me? I got darn right loyal subscribers that watch me daily that enjoy my videos I mean they're diehard people that will watch my videos I've had awesome awesome people that have done some great stuff for me like make a coffee cup with a drawing 
of me on there saying, Hey, everybody, how you doing? Those are loyal supporters. So never ever come and judge somebody saying, Oh, well, their supporters don't like them. And stuff. Plus, you know, I've I have lost weight here on this channel as well. My subscribers and can tell you that I was on keto for a while, and I lost weight doing keto, but I got off of it because I came down sick. But what I'm trying to say is never ever go to somebody's channel until you know the hard fact about them. And all, those that do that, that just want to say crap like that, well, they're, they're trolls. And they're jealous. Because <coughs> you're out here doing YouTube video and they... They can't. Nobody's stopping them that they have to do, go to work. You know, there, a lot of people be, can become a YouTuber. It's real easy. Well, just like, um, Jesse Ridgeway. A.K.A. McJugger Nuggets. Hey, he did. He did YouTube videos for a living. Then yeah, I'm sure he went to school as well. But his whole family does it. Now, if you want to go cuss at somebody, why don't you go cuss at people doing live streams all the time? You know, there's uh, people or go cuss at people at big amusement parks like Disney World. How come they're not at work? And stuff like that. But why jump on somebody that is doing a YouTube video? You know, that's my passion is doing YouTube videos. And I love it. Yeah, I don't draw that good. Because, you know, I got other channels that people watch me. <laughs> You know, I got my uh, ASMR channel, and a lot of people from this channel 
is subscribe to my ASMR channel. But like I say, never ever go and judge somebody until you know the true facts about them, people. Alright? All I'm saying, have respect for that person. If you don't like what they're doing, don't watch them. Nobody's forcing you to you have to watch. But never ever, ever open your mouth and say things until you know the true facts about that person. And I wish these trolls would learn that too. Never ever go and say something to somebody until you know the true facts about them. Because you know you can really hurt somebody's feeling coming to their channel and saying oh well you're obeyed and all this and that well how, how does she know she doesn't live here with me <laughs> yeah well you see that I'm heavy set yeah I'm heavy set and I'm proud of it But I don't sit there and eat all day. And if I was obese, I'd be going to see a specialist by now. Also, never ever judge somebody in, about working. Maybe they had was in a car accident. Or maybe they was in the service and something happened to them mentally and they can't work or maybe they they had like a medical issue or something that prevents them from being able to work never ever judge somebody okay like that because a lot of people do have health problems. But I blocked her anyways for being rude and obnoxious. <laughs> it just, you know, it just cracks me up. People make up an account just to go cuss you out. It's sad. Very, very sad. Just to go make an account. And then tell that person, well, nobody likes you. <laughs> Stop telling people to go watch other your other channels. Well, that person said. Well, they do like me. They all, they're all my supporters. Now maybe some can't because they're in a different time zone and they can't do it. See, everybody's in a different time zone. While I upload these, maybe some might be in bed. <laughs> or maybe they don't get notification that I up uploaded. But please, people, like I say, never ever be do that to a person. Always respect them. Well, everybody, I hope all of you enjoyed this uh, video here. And hope you all of you enjoyed 
watch me cook and everything. And if you did, smash that thumbs up button, will ya? Share it. If you're new and came along this video, hit that red subscribe button down below and please sub to my channel. And check out my other videos I got here. I got plenty, so feel free to check them out, will ya? I would love it if you could do that for me. It would make me happy inside. But until next time, everybody, also hit that notification bell. But again, everyone, you all take it easy and have a good one. And God bless to everybody out here. And, and please remember, with the virus still out there, is to please wash your hands thoroughly. If you got a cough or sneeze, cover with your elbow. Stay your distance six feet back. If you disinfect things, please do that. If you wear gloves, please do that. But please do me a favor, man. Get out there and get your vaccine shot, people, will ya? Get out there and get it. Let me tell you something. A sheriff I heard on the news this morning died because of COVID. I don't know if it's true that he had COVID, but, you know, that's what they put now on your papers. You died from COVID. <laughs> but take this thing seriously, all right? I know some of you can't, and I understand that because of health reasons, but if you can, get out there and get it. It's for your good, own good and your own safety. It's like Aaron Rodgers, quarterback from <laughs> the <laughs> Green Bay Packers. He's got COVID now. <laughs> so he won't be quarterbacking this <laughs> weekend when they play Kansas City. So get out there and get your shot. All right? Because this thing ain't seriously. This thing is real. And I know some of you sit there and say, Oh, I'm healthy. I don't need it. I don't need it. Yes, you do. Healthy doesn't mean a thing. You can still get it. No matter if you're healthy or not. So get out there and get it. But until next time, I am Timothy, and this cooking video is over. Have a good one, everybody, and take care, and thanks for watching.